Alright guys, so today we have a leaf blower. It is an Echo, I think, but all leaf blowers are pretty it's well echo. the same. Yep. So, it's uh, the carburetor's gummed up. It doesn't want to run properly. And the reason we knew that was because when I it sat for a while and checked out the fuel, and it was like a gel in there. I used brake clean in the tank, shook it around to get it all out. We didn't show that to you. I didn't think of it. So I put new fuel in it, and it it doesn't even run. Usually if it's gelled up in the tank like that, it's going to look like that in the carburetor as well. Just these two screws look like it holds it on. Alright guys, so before you get to them screws, you got to take this off. That's, That's just, just a wing, wing nut. nut. The filter looks pretty wet. The throttle. Okay, we got a fuel line. We got two fuel lines. Let's pull them off. Seem alright. Might as well check them. Just always make sure you know which one goes where. I'm just just know this out. The one further front is in the front of the carburetor. There's one further back is in the back. Pretty self-explanatory. Now you gotta take the throttle linkage off and just get away with weaving them. And just know how you weaved. I took it off, so when I put it back on, I'm just gonna go back in and swing it around. You can see it's like like this gel like. I'm going to take it to the parts washer and clean it off good. Alright guys, so all we did was just clean the exterior of it off so he's not, you know, slipping around and stuff. So, now he's going to start taking it apart. I'm just going to take off everything because I'm just going to clean it. But you can see how the fuel's like dark in there. Just remember, just lay your parts as they know how they go back together. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. Do this side. Same thing, see if I can get it apart without destroying anything. And look, you can see right in here, you see how that stuff, look, look at it. This is what I'm trying to show, it's like pure oil. I mean, although you can't feel it, but it's like oil. And that's all I'm going to do is try to see if I can get away just cleaning that crap out. That's one of the reasons I didn't get a rebuild kit. Also, guys, you may not want to use power tools on this. You, oh, you want to use hand tools. I'm just being <laughs> myself on it. I just want to lay all these parts out. You got your spring, your needle and seat. So I'm just going to use regular auto brake clean. It's slippery as crap too with this. This is like oil. Might be like the two-stroke oil separated. I wonder if that happens. Or you get your um it sat for a while. Did the gas evaporate and leave the oil behind? So I'm just cleaning out all the passages. I don't even know if they're even passages or not, some of them, but I just spray in them. And you get your inlet, you can see like and back flush it too. Probably wear safety glasses because you don't know where it's gonna shoot out of. I like to open up the throttle plate. Anywhere you can clean it, that's all that matters. Oh, see, almost in the eye. What did I say? Don't try this at home. This is for trained professionals. And I just get all the parts. This is when you really want safety glasses. Three reasons I'm not taking it off because I don't want to take the chance of ripping it because I don't have another one sitting here on the shelf. I mean, you could get a clip, you know, a little bit more critical by taking these out and all that, but since it was just, yeah, I'm just going to try cleaning it the easiest way as possible here. Now it's the little bit of a fun part here. Here's your float setup. You got to start this needle. Then you have a spring too. You gotta like fight everything here at one shot. Uh, they, they can be a bitch. Yeah, drop. I drop the spring right there in the center. It looks like that's where the needle goes, and right here is where the screw goes that holds all this shit together. Without losing my float, there's a little tab that lines up with the spring, and you can see how the shaft for the pin just sits in there. Now this is the screw. And actually, I'm going to have Carl hand me a, a screwdriver. I'm not going to put it together. I'm going to kind of do it the right way here. And then you just kind of start that. 
just gonna spray some cleaner in there just to try cleaning it out. You can see the gasket only goes on one way. Just make sure you put it on the same way you took it apart. Now you gotta hold that throttle open because it actually rests on that screw. And then there's a little tab here, it's got a line, and then boom, goes. Let me just show you, there's how you take out the purge bubble. I'm just going to clean that a little bit better. See that, see I almost missed that. And you put your bubble back on and What I'm doing is, when I put air in there, I can't blow nothing through it. But then when I hit this lever, I should be able to blow some air through. And that's just testing the needle. I'm just seat. making sure we're getting a good seat. Meaning, if I was able to blow air through it without my without pushing that, then we have a problem. And this can only go on one way because there is like a dowel pin. You can see there's a dowel that goes, and you always want to make sure like that metal part is facing the lever for the float. That little tab there actually hits that. And then you put it on. I mean, there, there, people said they've done tricks where they try marking it, but I don't see how that works, especially with a marker, because when you wash everything, it comes right off. But you could take like a like a knife and like scribe in all around the car seat. Getting fuel? Actually, we gotta take it back apart. F bulb just cracked. Ha <laughs> ha. So, yeah, we're gonna do a real quick crash course on changing the bulb now. I might have one here, so. I didn't see that because I was checking it out earlier, but there you go. That's why visual inspection is so important. It's more fun, you get more practice that way. And I'm not even gonna take that throttle linkage off because it was a pain in the ass. And to do the bulb, yeah, we'll give it a crash course on the bulb. Sometimes we do things four or five times. Yeah. Can't hurt. Taking this part off, remember just lay it out how you take it apart. Take this ring off, and bulb stays with the ring. Let me see if I can find one right there. You see all the dry rod? I didn't even see that before. Missed that. Now, if you're not lucky enough to have piles of junk laying around like we have, you can always go to any, uh, any mower any shop. Mower shop, and it is such a con they have these things by the dozen there. So I'm just gonna put it back together. Actually, it might be easier to show it. What you do is you just put the bulb on. And I feel it click in. This ring goes, the retaining ring for it. Make sure your throttle works. You see that all working, that's good. Stinky. Just a piece of wire with a hook on the end and go fishing. Figure out which line's which here. Yep, we're clear on the line. So we ended up did ha do having a, a new or used filter. Make sure it goes in the gas. Sounds good now. No, now we're getting something. I had a lot of air in it. The screws aren't tight on the pull no. cord? Why the hell are they loose? Let's see what the plug looks like. This could all be gummed up. We don't know anything about it. That doesn't look very good. Remember, that does give me the hard start, but I, I, I got all kinds of crap on that plug. Kinds of shit blowing out of there too. Rings are probably gummed, you know, if that stuff went all probably through this motor, so I'm hey, thinking the rings could be gummed up. 
That's all the brake clean too. You know, we're fighting against all that. It's a good spark. Just hold the end. Yeah. Alright guys, so it does run, you saw that. We're gonna check the exhaust now. It seems like it's lacking a little bit, so. I just wanna make sure it's clean because I felt some crap coming out of it. It got better and better, so it just needs to be ran too. Don't be surprised because the cylinder, you know, we cleaned the car, but there's a lot more to it. There's a lot of crap in the cylinders that we don't know anything about it. There it is. Uh, spark arrestor was clean. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, we will put a new plug in it that will help out a little bit. But that's it. I hope this will help you guys. Now this will be on anything like small that's two strokes. So uh, if you have an older lawnmower or a weed whacker, uh, even four stroke stuff will be generally the same. Just clean the carburetor and make sure you don't lose any pieces and blah blah blah. Remember how you put it back together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Make sure you click on the links down below. Check out my wife's Etsy store and our eBay. Uh, we sell decals, funny decals, car vehicles, stuff like that. Uh, so hit us up down there. And I hope we'll see you on the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.